Who? Hi, I'm Michael Christopher, and this is Nick Brady, and this is our Judaism interview project. So, Nick, are you a first-generation American? And if so, where are your parents from? I am a first-generation American, and my mom and dad are both from Israel. So, uh, when did your family move to the U.S.? Uh, they moved here when they were both in their 20s. Why did they move here? Uh, there's a lot of job opportunities and more freedom in America. Was that the only reason, or was there anything else? Uh, there's a lot of conflict going on in Palestine and Israel. Has and it been rough for you? Yeah, and our, we still have some family over there. It's not so a good issue. So when you moved to the U.S., did you move uh, directly to Cary, or did you move somewhere else to begin with? My parents first started out in New York, and then they moved down to New Jersey because we had an uncle living there, and that's where I was born. And then a few years ago, my dad got offered a job in the Research Triangle here in North Carolina. So, so Nick and his family followed a step migration pattern. So was it hard for your parents to adapt to the culture and customs here in the U.S.? Yeah, they had a lot of problems come in. One of the biggest was the language barrier. It was really difficult to break through, but they had to fully immerse themselves in American society and try to learn English on the fly. Are you ever able? <laughs> um, so, uh, are you ever able to visit your parents' family back home in Israel? No, not really. We can't go over there because of the conflict, and they can't come to America. They're not economically stable enough to visit. So, our only ways to communicate is through a screen, through Skype which isn't always enough. That could be rough. <laughs> Due to Nick's emotional state right now, we're gonna have to go to a commercial break. We'll be right back with you. All right, so moving on to a little bit of a lighter note here on holidays. I know that uh, you've been around America pretty much your whole life because you're a first generation American. Um, what do you do about holidays like Christmas? Well, we still want to preserve our traditions and celebrate Hanukkah, but we also want to fit in a little bit more to American society, so we celebrate Christmas on top of that. All right, I understand that. Mm -hmm. So I know in the Jewish culture there's a uh, coming-of-age ceremony. Uh, what is it? Yes, there is. It's called a bar mitzvah, and it's when a young man is 13. When you turn 13, you have a bar mitzvah. And it signifies you becoming a man in the Jewish society, and it's a huge milestone for all young Jewish men. Did you have one? Yes, I did. How was it? It was fantastic. Thank you for asking. Beautiful. I like that. Do you ever feel like because of these differences, some people discriminate against you? Uh, well, people acknowledge that some of my beliefs are different, but no one discriminates against me or thinks that it's wrong for me to believe these things. I'm good. I hope you uh, continue to uphold your culture. It's beautiful. I will. I will. Do you feel like Carrie? Uh, favors other religions over Judaism? Yes, but I think it's only because they're trying to cater to the majority of the rest of the population. And I know that Judaism, Judaism is a minority, but it is, it's okay because we're still recognized. Oh, I can respect that. All right, I think that concludes today's interview. Uh, we really appreciate you coming in today, Nick. No problem. Thank you for having me. It's been me. a pleasure. Yes.